So why is Kirchner being so front and centre as if he's already got the club? Um, because maybe that's his modus operandi. It wouldn't be my way of wanting to do things. Um, but, but the bottom line is people do things in different ways. You know, he's certainly got the means... Don't be under an illusion. I know we've had this story before with Eric Alonso and that sort of clown college, uh, uh, you know, outlook. But in this instance, this guy absolutely has the means. Now, the administrator has the desire and the bill I've just seen recently that he's put in is going to be quite significant. So no, no doubt he has a desire, but no, uh, but has a desire to complete this transaction quickly and to move it along. And we all kind of know the parameters of where this is. But there are problems in the administration mix, and it's not a case of clarity. It's a case of Wayne, you're doing a decent job. You're, you're, you're growing up in this environment because it is probably the sharpest end of management you're going to experience. You don't have the luxury of what a lot of other, other people have, which is the, the security of knowing that your football club's in decent nick, the security of knowing that player contracts aren't going to be um, unwound because no one knows what the long-term future of the football club is. The, the, the experiences of being bottom of the league with a 21-point penalty and the mentality of building up a galvanised spirit, probably not the resources around him that he's used to having played for big clubs around the world. So this is good stuff for Wayne Rooney. This is absolutely grist for his elbow because it takes him away from the, the la-la land of playing for great clubs like Manchester United mm. and brings him into an area that I said I don't think he was ex he was experienced enough to be in but what he's getting is a huge learning curve that will be massively beneficial to him. Irrespective of what people think, oh, what a wonderful Wayne job, job Wayne Rooney's doing, what a wonderful p person he is. He he's not going to be given many other opportunities right now because he doesn't have a managerial record. Right. But what but, he is but, doing... But you like what Wayne's trying to achieve at the moment. I think he's sensible. You've changed your tune a bit there. No, I think he's sensible. I think he's being sensible. I think that the, the points I made last year was that he wasn't equipped to do this job and he only managed to do the job that task was put in front of him by the fact that other people got six-point penalties and scored goals in the 88th minute of the last game of the season. I suppose you can say the outcome was the outcome, but it was nip and tuck. I also think some of his behaviour wasn't very becoming of a football manager. But now we're, he we're here and he's now beginning to learn the reality of what football management. He's engaging his brain sometimes before he engages his mouth. He's also getting the team a tune out of the team. Hmm. So Wayne Rooney is beginning to morph into an adult, right. into a grown-up in the room, yeah. and also becoming possibly a real benefit to Derby. So what about Kirchner? Why now, is he front and centre? Now when I he know that Kirchner it? has the desire to buy an English football club because he sees the growth opportunity in America, and he also believes, from what I understand, from a relatively reliable source, that he sees the reputation that Rooney developed in the American leagues by playing in for, for DC. He's seen the effect of Gerard and believes that someone like Rooney would be massive, a massive advantage to Derby County in his particular plans for what he wants to do with it and how he believes that the American football world will react economically to Wayne Rooney running a Derby County that this guy's going to put some money in and try and push through the gears. Yeah, but Simon, my point is, should he be seen well, that's front up to, and centre but, at the game when he doesn't have the club yet? But that's up to him, isn't it? You know, ultimately, he can't buy the football club until all of the ability to tie the knots are done by the administrator. If you're, got, if you're, if you're buying a football club and all of a sudden you've got Steve Gibson saying, I want 45 million quid off you, and you've got Wickham Wanderers saying, I've got 6 million quid over, off you, and the administrator saying, you've got no case, the Football League again, hang on a second, and everybody's having a bun fight, it's Andy Hoskins' job to tie this up in a neat little bow and say, that's the price, Chris Kirchner. That's the price whoever wants to buy the football club. Because these moving parts, if you're going to buy something, the last thing you want to do is get a £50 million bill stuck on you or a problem when you first walk through the door of a cult case that has nothing to do with it. Right. The, the, of nothing to do with you. So whilst I think he should be a little bit in the background, I, I don't think it's because he's a show, show pony. I don't think it's because he is somebody that's getting ahead of himself. I just think he's trying to get the feel and look at the football club that I would be surprised if he didn't purchase. OK, all right. So it's heading towards Kirchner's direction. It would seem, certainly it, it's obvious that he would love the club. That is for sure. Otherwise, he wouldn't be there last night. On back and forth on private jets. Yeah, you know? Derby fans were brilliant last night. Noisy throughout, right behind their team. But the night belonged to Queen's Park Rangers. And if you haven't seen it yet, watch for it. What a winner by Andre Gray. Out of this world. Jim White. And Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.